Hello everybody and welcome, I'm Strawberry Shogun and this is a free look at Chimera, destroy all monster girls. This is a free to play platform action game as far as I can tell. And as you can see I've just finished the first more or less tutorial level and I now have access to the world map where I can run around. Basically we're playing a Chimera girl who was built, well, for housework, but emergency reprogrammed to destroy the monster girl pirates that are attacking the island. So, let's take a look at our options. First of all, we have our dash dial, we have checkpoints on or off, volume, screen size, unfortunately not that much to choose from which also explains these some weird form of this game or video I am playing with a gamepad you have options for gamepads keyboards X input or simply resetting the default there are some achievement exit stage but I'm not in a stage right now quit the title which I'm not going to do also you have three save files to begin with here you can see weapons since I've just finished the first level, I only have the golem hand. I have outfits, I only have my default outfit. And that's about it for our options. So let's yeah, let's walk to Mount Africoopa to see what we get here. Now we have our dash. Attack, as you can see, you use it to move also along the stretches. It appears quite easy to do stuff with this dash attack. In fact, it seems to negate quite a lot of stuff, as far as I can tell. Otherwise, we have our weak attack, our strong attack, our ground pound. That's about it. So, these guys are kind of annoying. Okay, they're really annoying. We do that, of course. Because we have a dash attack that is really, really useful for just about everything. Among other things, moving over spike pits. Now, as you saw here, there is a bit of a trouble seeing where you can go sometimes because that looks very much like a wall to me. Let's jump on that thing. And we open up another level. So, this was probably a hidden area. Let's jump down. Ground pound, double ground pound. Pick up the stuff. Find the checkpoint. Take the question mark. I don't know what it does, but it's a question mark. And I probably shouldn't have destroyed all the blocks because I couldn't get up, so. Let's make a stair. Great. And. Fuck. Oh. That can happen. Fortunately, we just went over to the checkpoint. Now, as we died, the pirates came and took some of our treasure. Not very nice pirates. Now, as you might see, that card has already been taken, so it no longer has a question mark. So no reason to release it once more. You can't ground pound in air, which is somewhat annoying, but whatever. So we have to do it this way because I fell down, for sure. All in all, the controls are quite responsive. I'm not sure how long this game is, but I'm honestly a bit surprised that it is a free to play title. I'm also a bit surprised at this. Oh, 
I can do that. Man, okay, those guys are really, really annoying, actually. I should probably actually try to move out of the way and not get hit by every attack. Oh, crap. Another thing I could try is not using the word actually in every sentence. Okay, then here, do that. Now uh, we get enough back. Lose all our progress. And we can't. Oh, can we? No, we can't. That's a bit weird. Uh, okay, it's starting to get a bit tricky here, as you can see. Or a bit annoying, whichever you prefer. Get to the punching. Oh, I will. Trust me. My main problem is getting to too much of the punching. So, presumably, something like this. Yeah, like that. And jump down, find some ugly monster girl that we simply dash to death. Which is the most useful thing to do in almost every situation. Of course, I took a bit of damage, but. One heart back. Yes, please, once more. I mean... I'm not saying that the dash attack is OP, but... Come on. That's a bit of a hard one. I'm not sure I can do it, actually. And, uh, and I think I broke one too many. Yep. Oh, now it's a freaking... Mm. Almost every single place you can drop down, but when I think I can drop down... No! No such luck for you, my friend. And I accidentally went up. Great. And I got knocked out again. I'm not gonna make it this time. I hate this game. Which I guess is kind of a Good thing. Oops. Sorry about that. And if you're wondering what I'm sorry about, it's a noise you'll probably never hear because I let it out. Now, what to say about this game? Well, 
The controls are basic, but functional. The gameplay is somewhat simplistic, but not bad so far. Graphics, well, nothing stellar, but then again, it is free. So, not gonna complain too much about the graphics budget of a free game. Especially not when the gameplay actually works fine. As far as I can tell. Oh, nuggets. Yep. Great girl. Well, guess what's gonna happen now? I'm gonna break that block if I jump over because I was stupid and fell down. Ah. So, the gameplay is quite fun, but... I'm not sure you'll believe it, but... Slightly annoying at times. So, there's a checkpoint. And we found a boss, which is great. Now, let's see if this boss fight is more to fight with than the last one. Well, yes, I actually have to avoid stuff. Last fight was just. You know. Well, that. As a matter of fact. Sorry, I've had a bit of a cold, and there's roughly 5,000 tons of pollen in there, so I'm a bit... Yeah. A bit stuffy, so to say. Ooh. Now what to say about this game? What do I think? I think it's kind of... Well, it's not a bad free-to-play game, definitely not. It has gameplay. Apparently that's the... ...height of criticism that I can manage. It has gameplay, congratulations. 5 out of 5. There seem to be quite a few levels and quite a lot of slots for weapons among other things, so... I definitely think it... It has promise as a free-to-play game. I wouldn't mind playing it a bit more. And there seems to be... At least some level variation. I'm really, really bad at this. With all that said, however, I think you've s seen what it has to offer, at least in the beginning, so... If it looks like something you might want to waste some time on, well... Go ahead, as I said, it's free, it's on Steam. And it's only 50 megabytes downloads. With that said, I think we can agree that I should probably stop playing this and go back to something where I'm not extremely horrible. Have a good day.